Dear students, I am Shahande from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today, through this PowerPoint presentation, I am going to discuss about some frequently asked questions on welding shop. Okay, so uh, when we are discussing about this welding shop questions, the most important and the first questions comes from this welding shop. <clears throat> that is the, what do you mean by welding? So. Uh, in the answer of this question, what do you mean by welding? Uh, it can be described through various points. That means it it uh, it is a simple question, but in answer some po important points to be there. Okay, I'm mentioning those points that should be there. At first, uh, the first important point is heat. That means heat is required for any type of welding. Okay, next point. Metals or non-metals. That means we can weld the metals as well as the non-metals. Next, similar or dissimilar metals or, or non-metals. Okay. Next, with or without applying the filler metals, with or without applying the pressure, with or without shielding gas or flux. And last one, the collisions of two materials adjoint. Okay, that means these are the important points that we have to uh, do the summation and to and uh, we have to make a definition of welding and the definition of the welding is like that welding is a process of joining in which uh, localized collisions is produced by heating the material up to suitable temperature with or without application of filler metal with or without ap applying the pressure with or without uh, the shielding gas or flux and there will be collisions of two metals at, at joint Okay, so this is the entire definition of welding So when you are defining the welding then then please add these points that are mentioned here Okay, this all the points are Im important to define the welding Now I'm coming to my next question that is the how the heat is generated in welding Okay, I've already told heat is the necessary thing that we required for the melting uh, at the joint and to the welding operation. Okay, so heat is required. So now my question is how the heat is generated. Okay, here please look into this question. Uh, here the question is how the heat is generated in welding. That means I'm not specifying one specific welding. This is a general question for all the question of all the weldings. Okay, so now I'm going to show you one picture. That is the uh, this is the block diagram. Here in this picture, we can see these are the sources to generate the heats like the electrical current, gas, chemical reaction, laser or ultrasound, friction, explosive, and others are there. Okay, so this uh, I want to prefer this one to six these are the main points the this is the procedure to generate the heat okay but if I specify like how the heat is generated in arc welding okay the simple your answer will be electrical current that means the first one okay if my question is how the heat is generated in gas welding okay then the your answer will be gas in case of chem chemical welding your answer will be chemical reaction in case of laser or ultrasound your answer will be according to this okay but when i'm asking about the entire welding system okay then you you have to mention all these points okay that means these points okay so i'm going to my next question that is the what types of uh, what are the types of the welded joints okay uh, so the most popular welded joint uh, that is the bud joint. Okay Next T joint strap joint lap joint and corner joint. Okay Another joints are there like the edge joint is there that is not mentioned here. Please mention that these are the types of the welded joints Okay here one confusion may arise there are another types of joints uh, that will be my next question so i'm coming to the next name the different type of welded joints according to their positions okay again i am i am coming back to my previous question that is the what are the types of welded joints okay and the question number 4 is 
name the types of welded joints according to their positions so when i am asking this question about the welding joints according to their positions there then your answer will be different from the normal one okay and your answer in this case that means according to the position the welding joints types will be first is flat second is horizontal third is vertical fourth is overhead okay so these are the types of the welding joints that we categorize to according to their positions this, this is a very important portion okay in the basic part of the welding okay <clears throat> so uh, i'm going to discuss about the, my next question that is the define the welding terms this is also a very important question okay so uh, i want to uh, show you one picture okay okay this is the uh, in this picture in my left hand side we can see the some terms are written okay this is a butt joint okay and this this is the portion where the uh, welding takes place okay so uh, first first thing i want to say that is the bread okay so bread is the met metal added during a single pass of welding that is called bread okay next uh, is the root uh, that is uh, written here root face and root opening it is the point at which two pieces to be joined by welding are nearest okay this, this is the root another point that is not written here but mentioned here that is the toe okay toe is the junction between the weld face and the base metal that means this upper portion is this is called weld face okay and this is the base metal and toe is the junction next what is the base base metal actually base metal is nothing but the metal to be joined or cut in term uh, the the base metal okay so these are the main points other points are there uh, like the reinforcement uh, there is a uh, upper uh, portions of this uh, welded uh, joint this portion is called reinforcement okay another things are there uh, like the uh, weld face i have discussed to discuss root to discuss base I, and, and in the side portions these are the called the fusion zone okay has is also in this fusion zone so uh, when i am uh, asking you to define the welding terms then we we have to mention all these terms okay and another important point that i am going to means that is the penetration that is uh, actually penetration is the depth up to which the base metal melts okay so these are the common uh, uh, terms that that we are that we use to define the welding okay so uh, thank you for watching this video in my upcoming videos uh, i am going to discuss about the more important questions uh, the, about the welding shop and the other shops okay i have a detailed description of this welding shop and the other shops the video video link is available in the description portion of this video please watch my video and subscribe my channel okay thank you again